Well, the hardest part about being a general manager to me is keeping everybody focused on the, the same goal at hand. You know, just keeping everybody positive, having the same positive attitude and working towards the same goals to achieve them. That would probably be the hardest part to me is getting everybody on the same page. I try to be a part of their life, you know, ask them about themselves and, you know, if they're having a bad day, try to help them work through it so that they can come here with a positive attitude and uh, really just communication, I think, is the key. Communication and, you know, showing them that you care about them. I think if you show people what you care about them, it goes a long ways. I wear a headset every day that I work. I require that my managers wear a headset on their shifts every day and I remind people every time I don't hear them suggest a sell, I remind them, you must suggest a sell. That is important to me. I feel like that's what helps build ourselves. I feel like that's what keeps us with the highest transaction. Um, communication again, it's just repeat, 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 you know, and once you, they know that you're not going to settle for anything less, everybody just seems to fall in order and do it. I mean, and it, it works. Mm, just by showing that I care about them, you know, I don't make it about just me or Whataburger. I make it about them as well. Um, you know, I. I try to make this store as much their store as it is my store or your store. You know, um, I, I, I listen to them. I ask them for advice. You know, if they come to me with something and they want to try something new, we try it. If it works, we keep it. Um, I just involve them and, you know, let them be a part of the, the planning and the ideals and let them make it theirs, I guess, and they like that. We have some great customers. We have a lot of regular customers. Um, we have a lot of regular customers that, you know, we have several cashiers that, that they like in particular. But overall, I think all of our customers, you know, like us as a team. They come in, we take the time to come out and speak to them and, you know, check on them at the table and ask them again about their lives and how their days are going. Um, we have a lady, her name is Miss Dorothy. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to see her much anymore. She's now in a nursing home, but every day, twice a day, she comes, we know what she wants. We see her, we go out to the car, we help her. We help her get her walker out, we help her out of the car, we help her into the store. And she thinks of us as family. We think of her as family, as we do a lot of our customers. They come daily, we just, we make it a point to have a, a small conversation to make their morning quick. I know they're on their way to work, you know, but we always try to make a point to say, you know, hey, how's your day going? You know, we didn't see you yesterday or, you know, there's some that pull up and we know their voice instantly or we'll see them pull in and we know exactly what they're going to get. And we have it ready for them and they think that that's really neat. Well, I spend a lot of time with my family. I just had my first grandbaby, which is wonderful. He is magnificent. So really just spend a lot of time at home with my family and in the pool. And that's pretty much how I spend my time when I'm not at work. I have three daughters who still live at home. They're all 20 to 24. And, you know, I just try to help them better their lives. And, you know, I make it a point to stay close with them. You know, family these days don't do a lot of that. And I think that's important. I would say a lot of people don't know that I have a big heart and that I would probably give anybody anything, anything that I have. Um, a lot of people see me, I'm usually fast paced and have a straight face, so they think that I'm always serious or mad and, and I'm really not, you know, it's just my face. <laughs> First and foremost, I think that what makes Whataburger a good company here is y'all, the Hyman family. I think that y'all have truly showed the people that work for you guys, that y'all care about us and, you know, that y'all the same are the same way. Y'all would do anything for anybody. Y'all help families and, you know, I think that's the biggest part that makes us great is that y'all care so we care. Um, as well as, you know, we serve a great product. I mean, you have to believe in what you're, we, we, what we're selling. If you don't believe in it, then I don't think, I think it makes it harder. Now would probably just be, you know, the Whataburger Junior with jalapenos would probably be mine.